dramatic meteor strike lights up the night sky as it hurtles over Alberta, Canada. It's been captured by a dash cam, one of the many very clear high definition videos of a celestial body striking our atmosphere. And this one was over Fort Saskatchewan in Alberta, Canada. People in parts of Ontario, Western New York witnessed a similar sight during Labor Day. Reportedly accompanied by loud booms, both events were likely the consequence of meteors incinerating as it hurls, as they hurl down into Earth's atmosphere and they create sonic booms as we know. Well, Saturday night this fireball was captured by a car's dash cam outside of Edmonton, Alberta, about 10.30 night op uh, local time. More than 175 people from Alberta reported seeing this fireball, and they reported to the American Meteor Society. This is the image that we have from them. Fewer people reported the New York fireball. That occurred around 5 p.m., and it made an impression on those who experienced it, of course. Eyewitnesses reported this bright, Fast streak in the late afternoon appeared against a brilliant blue sky and after sparking with a flash of rainbow colors disappeared behind a fluffy white cloud. Another Twitter user, tmain334, said, I was in Abbottstown, Pennsylvania and saw it here. Huge white light that streaked across the sky, the sky fading into nothing but a dot the size of a needle. It was amazing, especially seeing it in broad daylight. So it's not just night, it's also daylight. Obviously, in Alberta, Canada, you have nighttime. It can't be daylight in uh, Pennsylvania because nighttime falls there before it falls in Alberta. Which means that they were different fireballs. Now, others reported hearing fireball but not seeing it. Local media receiving reports of sudden unexplained booms. The American Meteor Society thinks that it was most likely a fireball created when a small meteor hits Earth's atmosphere and then burns up. NASA's Meteoroid Environment Office, Bill Cook, says, based on the data available at this time, I would say that the sonic boom heard was caused by a fireball. NASA also defines fireballs as meteors brighter than the planet Venus. And NASA uses, as we know, 17 cameras in its all-sky fireball network in order to uh, tell us how many fireballs hit us every day. The nearest camera to upstate New York is based in northeastern Ohio, but uh, Monday's fireball was not caught on the camera because the cameras are turned off during the day to protect them from the sunlight damages. Now, meteors incinerate in Earth's atmosphere, as we know, every single day. And um, from what we've been told, uh, we are hit with over 25,000 not uh, asteroids or meteors, 25,000 comets that come in at us from uh, the north, well, daily, 25,000 daily. And these comets carry anywhere from 20 to 40 tons of water every day. Every day, 25,000 times 10 to 20 tons of water. These are the comets striking us every day, let alone the tons of, uh, I think it was estimated 40 tons of uh, Asteroid dust, of course, these asteroids are so tiny that uh, they're like flicks of, uh, flicks of dust. And they bring in celestial, I don't know, what would you call it, quote-unquote, Earth? <laughs> and uh, besides that, we have the comets coming at us. And they found this recently because they were trying to film and study the northern lights over the North Pole. And they noticed something else that was coming in, at hitting the North Pole. And they sent up a satellite 16 years later and found that these were actually icy comets. And we were being bombarded worldwide, 25,000 of these bodies every day, and they carry anywhere between 20 or 30, 20 to 40 tons of water. Can you imagine? We're getting clear tons of water coming in at us from space. So, you know, our skies are pretty, uh, pretty lively. Now, the majority of these base rocks or dust is composed, uh, consumed by the friction when, it collide, when they collide with our atmosphere, whereas the water comets 
collide not with our atmosphere, they collide with our magnetosphere, which is further out, of course. So these uh, ice comets collide with our magnetosphere, that's different. Now, these things that collide with our atmosphere, of course, make our uh, flames, leave their flaming tails as they burn up. And it's far rarer for a meteorite to survive this friction until the surface, almost unheard of for a space rock to do much damage when they do make it. The most famous, as, as we know recently, was the February 2013 Siberian event of the Chelyabinsk meteor. And that was the size of a house. House-size asteroid went undetected. We didn't even see it coming until its collision with our atmosphere sent such shock waves that it blew out thousands of windows and estimated damage of uh, over 7,000 buildings and over 1,000 people were injured from those flying pieces of glass. I'll leave links below for you for this. Here we are on space weather and we have here the All Sky Fireball Network Every night, NASA all-sky cameras scan the skies, as we said, at night, because during the day they have to have them off because of the sunlight. So they scan the skies over the United States for meteoric fireballs. And yesterday we had nine. Diagram of the inner solar system. All of the fireball orbits intersect at a single point, which is Earth. That is strange. Orbits are color-coded by velocity from slow being red to fast being blue. So we have no reds, most of, them, so most of them are pretty fast. This is from spaceweather.com. Here we are on space weather. And we have here the All Sky Fireball Network. Every night, NASA All Sky cameras scan the skies, as we said, at night, because during the day they have to have them off because of the sunlight. So they scan the skies over the United States for meteoric fireballs. And yesterday we had nine. Diagram of the inner solar system. All of the fireball orbits intersect at a single point, which is Earth. That is strange. Orbits are color-coded by velocity from slow being red to fast being blue. So we have no reds, most of them, so most of them are pretty fast. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.